Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a good Sunday. Hi, Jessica. Now, what I'm going to use in this, and I'm going to show you something really simple that can be done in, I don't know, like 20 minutes of work plus the baking. And you can do it real quick before you go somewhere today or tomorrow. Hi, Karen. Hi, Lane. <coughs> excuse me as I said still still allergies around here and uh, now one of the things and to my shame I did not check uh, so I just now realized so give me just a second to make sure that this is in the Amazon influencer store it should be in jewelry findings yes it is i actually put it the first so you can find it easier hi terry hi sharon so um i got these not just for pins but i thought that uh, they probably do good brooch things too obviously like the regular brooch pins they will i mean not unlike the regular brooch pins you'll have to uh, actually get a mold mold them in the back and then after you bake your uh, piece uh, you'll have to glue them hi Skywalker so this time I know that I did a lot of earrings but this time I thought of doing just a pin because a pin you don't have to worry about wearing something that's all pretty and elegant so you can wear earrings a pin can be used for anything and i have a finnegan hair here as i said sometimes he comes and wanders around the house uh, so what i did i got normally i would make them a little bit smaller than this only like this big but um, I decided to make them a little bit larger so you can see what I'm doing. So you'll have to put them on something that's a little bit spherical, right? And uh, bake first some bases on a medium thin. I used my five on the makings so that you can work on stuff okay hi Ramona hi Darla hi Cindy hi Panda yay you found me so let's get these off yeah I'll grab it here all right now if you remember i'm not sure if it was last year yes memorial day is an american holiday but you can use this kind of stuff for your own country's um celebrations and it is a fairly big day in oklahoma so okay no not here i'm trying to find i did the star cane tutorial there we go and when was this in 2019 in may and uh, let me share it this is how it's called star cane for patriotic jewelry Okay. Hi, Diana. Okay, so, uh, as I said, I want to show you something that would be made fairly easy, so you don't have to worry too much. And in this, that's why I said about the, the star cane, because if you do not have, I'm going to use... Where the heck did I put them? Because I have them here ready. Oh, there they are. 
if you don't have these little star and I wish I had gotten the smallest one I think there's one that's smaller than this uh, if you don't have the camper cutters in the star thing you can use directly the cane and how is it acting up Jessica and there's another thing that I plan on making another because I'm going to make at least one uh, more American flag tutorial this month for I mean not this month in June for the 4th of July and um, if I'm not mistaken it's in the miscellanea I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about because it's something that I got just to use it let me make sure oh and by the way I'm not going to be able to get it uh, but I discovered some absolutely what the heck are they and just a second I discovered some absolutely awesome molds no, I think I didn't get them here I don't know. I'll have to look for them. They are little uh, star stickers. Okay. And uh, you did well. Uh, as I said, I am I am uh, spending a few hours every week to keep it up to date and to, um, to have it, you know. Because as I said, sometimes some things are not available anymore other times the sellers just uh change to another item but they keep the same thing hold on a second i hear a meow in the little shitheads I have both Connor and Finnegan I, I apologize but I had to go look what was going on um, I have my uh, kitchen cabinets they have magnets okay and both I mean Connor was the one and Finnegan learned from him so now they are both doing that they like to just open the cabinet a little bit and then they let it bang and they play like that and they turn me nuts and drive me nuts and uh, Finnegan wanted to play but Connor had put himself in front of the cabinet <sighs> so they were having a screaming match hi Lydia I didn't miss anybody okay so let's get back to to the whole thing as i said if you do not have um, the star cutters then check on the star cane and you can use the star cane directly the other thing is that uh, i am going to use the regular ultramarine but what i suggest um depending on what kind of of clay you're getting obviously um let me get this here 
if you're using Primo, I would suggest that you go with Navy. If you're using Cernit, I would suggest that you go, let me see, in the number one, there is a, a navy blue, and in the opaline, I guess she doesn't have it. Or not there is another one at the primary no in opaline there's just the primary blue but if you don't have that uh just mix a, a little bit of sliver of black in the ultramarine uh, the same don't use the um, hi randy don't use the red the primary red like in the primo the cadmium red use the pomegranate because the cadmium red is a little bit too uh, i don't know it's the i i call these the, the eye hitters um it's not the right red <laughs> what can i say uh, so use the pomegranate or uh if you use the the cernit it is so don't use the carmine where are you don't use the poppy red use the christmas red don't use the regular red use the christmas red so that one is really really good uh to to use yeah they've been in quite a quite a big thing the um, i don't know many stores in canada the only one that i know is oh god what's the name of it because i got something from them and i intend to use it i cannot reach it later <laughs> anyway let's get back to let's get back to work okay so obviously what you'll have to do and be very very careful whenever you work with this kind of stuff and i'm going to be very honest with you you will have to sand no matter how good you do your stuff you will have to sand because no matter the brand of clay not michael's no it's a private privately owned. no matter your brand of clay red has a very very strong pigment and as you start working with it it's going to kind of spill over you're gonna get a little bit of red on your fingers without realizing or your gloves or whatever you're using and uh, your white is going to get a little bit pinkish and you're going to have to sand that because otherwise you cannot do much so these are on the thickest setting and i'm not going to go with the thickest setting really i made a mess here yeah i was asked what do you do when you get when you mess up your white or your translucent like i did here right so what i'm going to do first of all i'm going to clean my blade i so need to go to hobby lobby to get a couple more of these blades because that's the only one that has them. Actually, I got the new rigid Cernit blades. I got some stuff from Trish. I didn't even open the box. Maybe we'll open the box together. Okay, so what I do, I first scrape it. And usually that does the trick. If I didn't manage to get everything like it would be right here I have a, a little spot then I go exactly like for mica shift shaving and I just shave it out and that is it so let's get on with it I have two of these because I want to show you two different ways of doing it and number one 
what you need to do is to make sure that your things here are nice and straight. I don't know about you, but uh, my machine, my makings, no matter what I do, Actually, I changed the motor, and I noticed that that's been happening more after I changed the motor. Uh, but it leaves the gear lines, so pretty much every time after I put the clay through the machine and I need to work on something, I need to make sure that I get it uh, straight. All right. Then, obviously, you need to find your glasses and then you need to cut and this is definitely way too big for me to work with so I'm going to get myself a piece of it and the same for the white getting a piece of it and then I'm going to start cutting lines and the thing here is that uh, this one is not wide enough good get this one. the thing is that you can use a um, graded thing if you want you can measure I normally just go eyeballing honestly I just go eyeballing and I cut way more than I need that way I can just um, pick the ones that are <laughs> even <laughs> sounds horrible huh but it takes me less time to cut them eyeballing than it takes me to measure them so there we go so I always go from the bottom to the top it's kind of like an exercise in bar jello right so i'm going to cut a little bit more because the they are variants both of them are variants of the same thing and then i'll show you another trick that you can do there we go so I cut quite a bit of them and I'm going to do the same here okay, okay. this needs wet Whenever the blade gets sticky. Yes, you are not. Whenever the blade gets sticky, make sure that you wipe it. Some Most of the time I wipe it with alcohol, but if that doesn't prove enough, I just go ahead and I put armor on. Because as you can see, my white clay is way stickier than the red. So it clings to the blade. Our beloved Primo. As I said for me, and it still sticks. As I said for me, Primo is the warhorse of clays. And a lot of times when I try to do something in another brand of clay I do the experiments in Primo and then I will do the final project with Cernit or Pardo or Fimo and I don't have much scrap clay of other brands than Primo wrong it's a decent quality clay but 
not as good as others. Better than some, but not as good as some. Okay, now. They might, I don't know, I don't, I don't use that much Cernit Shiny, so I'm not entirely sure. I never used much Cernit Shiny, I didn't see the, the reason why. Alright, then, obviously, it needs Bacon Bond. And it will be the, the last, the very last thing. And to be very honest with you, I normally do these in two or three bakes to make sure that I have properly straight lines. Like for the example, I would do the stripes first. And then I go for the stars. So always start in the middle because if you try to start at the edge it's going to be much harder to to do it. And you can go straight or if you want you can do it like this. I'm going to just go straight with it. And I placed my thing wrong. Imagine that the red is not white. <laughs> uh, talking about all kinds of eyeballing stuff. Let me turn it real quick. And for the second one, what I want to show you is actually uh, what I call the flattened satin slice. And your best bet is to use the, if you have a straight lines texture, that's fine. Or a wavy texture, that's fine. But I'll show you several that you can use. But if you want to make it a little bit more quirky, your best bet is the jitterbug texture of Helen Braille. If you're gonna ask me why don't you just use a line cane because honestly you have more chances to mess up the lines not to get perfectly straight line cane lines with the stripe cane then with just placing the strips on the <coughs> I normally take Claritin because for my allergies because it doesn't make me sleepy but sometimes it does and because we are still in the drippy I don't know when these rains will stop because they are still supposed to keep going for at least another week so considering the rainy weather and the allergies I don't want to risk sleeping all day long Benadryl is my sleeping pill so yes don't forget to sum me up and go all the way to the end with it. Might be a little one that's a little bit extra. All right, now here I'm going to go half.
pretty much so go a little bit over half but as you can see it's it's coming up with the lines fairly straight you can do all kinds of nice combinations if you want it to be a little bit more shiny you can use white glitter in the and there are actually I think that all pretty much almost all lines have that and in Primo you have white with white glitter and red with red glitter if you want to make it more shiny and why I said go a little bit over half because no matter what you do and what you try remember I'm always trying to find the shortest way towards achieving something very well done if that makes sense <laughs> so I'm not going to waste time trying to arrange these perfectly in line when I can arrange them and then I can cut you know I mean it's quite The, the same that I've been telling you many times like when you do a piece don't bother trying for minutes and minutes on end to make the edges perfect when all you need is a few swipes of sandpaper to make your edges perfect right all right now I'm going to go with my fingers first let me cut this nicely so I want to cut it perpendicular and remove this my hands remember the red clay so my next thing is going to be to make sure that all the pe all the lines are nicely against each other and if you do this you won't have to do a lot of uh, of course you can do this on a piece of scrap clay and then place it here but I find that placing them directly it's going to result in straighter lines besides once you uh, sand it it's going to be just perfect okay let's do a first yeah but you kind of want them to be parallel not and that's why I said you can make them wavy to start with okay careful here and now once I did this I can go back and do a very gentle bevel don't work too much on it because you can always sand the bevel see the little dots and spots of red dots and spots and the white starts looking pinkish Uh, 
all right so now I can start going like this another thing that you can do actually that is really pretty you can use instead of the stars if you especially if you want to make it more shiny and you use glitter and stuff instead of the stars on the blue you can use rhinestones and it's going to be pretty okay so i think i need to interact a little bit more here now the main thing is as I said if you have the cane or you do the cane if you don't have the cutters the main thing is to obviously cut a straight angle here and I don't need all this clay But yeah, I posted on Facebook, I've been doing some experiments with some stuff. What do you think about this? Oops, it's resin, of course. But what do you think? And uh, no, it's not flakes. I'm gonna post hopefully a tutorial soon. And you will love it. Yeah, I love hot fix rain rhinestones. Okay, so as I said, normally I would first bake the lines and then come with the blue. Or pre bake, you can pre bake for like 15 minutes if you want. Um, gently on this side and like for the other ones do a little bit of a bevel there so the rough trim and then go back on it And as I said, you can do the, the do the bevel perfectly at the same angle and perfectly perfect when you sand without a problem. Okay, now that I did this, you know that on this kind of stuff you don't really have to put 50 stars, right? Before you bake, And this is going to be have to be done at PCJ uh, before you bake it and then you're gonna put the white you're gonna include it in there after baking so just cut several stars two or three if you're in Texas you can cut just one right what did I do with my there it is I'm gonna place it here so I can cut better if I don't manage to tilt it and then after it's baked I'm going to <coughs> fill these with white And I forgot, as I said, I forgot to get the smaller size when I did my order with Trish. So 
So it's going to look just fine. And on these ones you're going to get it done to pretty much perfection. Now, um, as I said, you will have to just put some kind of backing on it, whatever color you want, and you can bring it up a little bit to make a bezel. And then push before you finish it completely. No, you're, you're seeing exactly what... Yeah, I put it the other way. Sorry. My mistake. <laughs> Yeah, no, I put it the other way. My mistake. I put it backwards. You'll have to put it here. Um, I'll do better on the next one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but you'll put something here, right? Uh, some kind of backing. And then press the pin on the backing. Remove it. Bake. And then glue the pin in that imprint that you've left there. Yeah, this part was supposed to be here. You are right, Lisa. I am so sorry and I didn't realize it. Okay, let me grab the texture. Remember, this is the best thing to use to keep your textures. And Trish has some. I got mine from Amazon before she brought any in. Try. So let's grab the jitterbug. Let me see if my waves are here. And then there's another you can try the jitterbug or you can try this one. This is absolutely... Absolutely awesome. And this one is cheaper. It's a cool tools and it is in the Amazon Influencer Store. And I am going to show you... And as I said, you can do it like this if you want to make it more whimsical. But I'm going to just use this one. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sorry. As I said, sometimes when when I'm hurting, it's like my brain starts. Remember those old cars when they would start doing like those um, shooting <laughs> things? Okay, so. I'm going to start exactly like for a regular uh, satin slice. Somebody commented on my cosmetic sponge that it's getting dirty. Yes, it is dirty and it's the kind of dirt that no matter if I wash it, it doesn't come off because there are all kinds of pigments on it. But uh, it's my most favorite. So I don't care if it looks dirty. It's very good to work with. It's just perfect. Okay, and I know that all of you know that for satin slides you need to go little piece by little piece. Same here at CJ. But I generally just go with it. The, the whole trick is for your clay to be nice and uh, soft and well conditioned. And it might not go all the way, but I don't need all of it. I just need about the size of my uh, of my little round, right? Thank you, Skywalker. I have a special. thing and some of you know that I used to work for the Air Force in the civilian in the NAF but uh, my 
before my husband was former active duty and once he retired he became civilian DOD so okay so <clears throat> as you can see I have a pretty nice red and what I'm going to do next is to lift the red with white <coughs> excuse me and of course you can leave it raised like that that's not a problem that's absolutely no problem And there we go, we got a nice waving flag, yay. Now, here's the trick for the flattened satin slice. And you only work it the way that I showed you because otherwise your lines will get smart, will get um, wider, will get all messed up. So grab some wax paper and with the shiny side towards the clay, first place it in put it in place and then just start tapping don't go like this don't go like this go only from the top down because what you're trying to do is to push the raised um, clay in the clay underneath so if you're going to start to do like this too early you're going to widen your lines and from time to time get it back out so this might take a few minutes to do after which you can grab your acrylic and gently push don't push too much at a time release place it back gently push release place it back gently push and do this several times thank you okay and at this point when I got it almost all in I can start pressing a little bit more it's going to still get a little bit wider but not as wide as if you try to do that to start with okay and I'm going to grab my smaller acrylic my burnishing acrylic and start burnishing okay until and you do that until and you don't even have to do until all of it is inside because you can uh, you can sand if you have like a fraction of a millimeter of the red still sticking out you can sand it off and it's going to look beautiful now i'm still burnishing and it's pretty much done of course it's not going to keep so if you have something with lines finer than this it's not, not going to keep everything perfect but as I said when you start sanding you're going to sand some of this red that came one into the other and it's going to look gorgeous it's going to look gorgeous no matter what even if you don't sand it still is going to look like a um, flag waving so this time I promise I'm not gonna mess up. <laughs> All right. So again, bacon bond. Place it on. 
make sure you bring it all the way to the edge and from the middle towards the sides to chase away any air bubble that you might have caught I know and I cannot even thank you I cannot even begin to tell you how many veterans I've seen who I've met in my life who have all kinds of problems that aren't addressed properly my neighbor Mikey the one that I told you I found dead last year the New Year's Day he was a Vietnam vet okay so with these ones though I'm going to have to roll to bring them over and as I said normally before putting the blue in I like to just uh, bake it and then insert the blue because that way no matter what I know that I'm going to have perfect lines okay so this should be pretty much how it would look like and now you can do it perfectly straight if you want to or you can actually follow one of these pretty much and now I did it right huh and insert your blue let me do a little bit of wavy stuff here so it goes a little like this and like this it's going to be a little bit harder to insert properly with it not being baked and all but I think I can still kind of do it let's see kind of sort of And don't don't do it like I do it now. Bake that first, and then and then insert the blue. If you want to get a good looking effect, And I'm going to have to look for those stickers. Let me actually try and get them. Yes, I showed already, Lydia, these, these ones. And I explained how to... I'll actually show you on one of these how to do the back. Okay, this kind of stickers you can get and you can place them. You can actually, uh, the way that I envisioned something like that, and I think I have some white ones somewhere because these don't have whites, silver, but I have some with whites somewhere. Um, I was envisioning actually doing something with white and silver stars and then blue stars 
or something like that but okay so let's see how can you do the pin let me grab some of this white real quick because I kept explaining but and of course you don't want to do the back until your front is completely baked and nicely sanded and ready to be a lacquer door buffed So, the way you do it, let me grab some of this because I'm making messes here. Uh, before you do anything, actually, cut it a little bit larger than. the the circle that you actually used for this and obviously I'm gonna get this one okay so you start with bacon bond as normal I'm not going to be able to do properly the bezel because this clay is not baked so it will be hard to cut it properly yeah, stencils work awesome too. And then just place, and you can do this in silver, I just have the white here. Okay, and this is too thick. I wasn't supposed to have something this thick, hold on. It's supposed to be thinner. So yeah, I would normally use some, I mean, you can use white, obviously, but I personally would normally use some uh, silver or even gold. Now when this is baked normally, when you do it the normal way, as I said, would first bake the front and then add the back, like all pieces should be done, then you can come and nicely trim this so it would be nice and even all around but it's very hard to do that when the clay underneath is not baked but what I was saying saying how to place the pin what you do first and again you can do it after the front is baked what you do first you check how this is and on the stars the same as on the other one right you can either use a cane you can either use the cutter or little stencils like darlasses or little uh, rhinestones you press it because now I'm going to deform if I press like this but you press it in remove it bake this and then glue the pin on and there you have uh, your pretty pin I would normally make these much smaller as I said but I made it larger so you can see what I'm doing this is my messed up one <laughs> but uh, you can place these uh, stripes also obviously you can place them like this if you want you can start with them like this and then follow the curve here all right so i hope this was useful and you can make really fast uh some pins for tomorrow or if you go somewhere tonight and uh, you'll have some for fourth of july as well and we'll finish the 
where did I get what? Oh, the stencil? I think that there's a... Give me just a second, because I think I have in those stencils... Stencils and dies. There's that set of stencils that I think has stars. Yes, if you look in the stencils area of, let me, let me get it in there and get on the, on showing you the display. So if you go on my Amazon influencer store and you go and look for stencils, stencils and dies and the very first and I know that I did several tutorials with this the very first one is a set of itty bitty stencils they are like four by four or something like that and there is one with stars and this you can use as a silk screen without any kind of problems so you can use that uh, instead of silk screen on some blue and then you can add you know the once it's dried you can add the blue to your uh, pin okay all right I'm going to go lay down for a little bit to calm my back muscles and then get back on working stuff and I'll have to do this right because it looks just too cool not to do a tutorial on it but I'm trying to get the like a star pattern on it and then it's going to be much much cooler <laughs> okay have a wonderful weekend because we have a long weekend and again happy Memorial Day and don't forget to think a little bit about the people who we are actually celebrating and thanking for this Memorial Day have a wonderful day. Mm, bye.